Okay, that's better. Damn, it's cold as hell out there. Welcome to Gus's Movie Review. Today I'm reviewing Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. It's the first standalone movie in the Star Wars universe, but it could easily be called Star Wars Episode 3.5 because it takes place right before the original, which is obviously Episode 4, and it's about a group of rebels on a mission to steal the plans for the Death Star. Now, if you don't know what the Death Star is, or if you occasionally call Star Wars Star Trek, this probably isn't the movie for you. But if you're a Star Wars fan, like I am, you should definitely like this movie. It's way darker than most Star Wars movies, and it shines a light on some previously unknown things from that universe. For instance, like the gravitational pull on his home planet seems to help out Forrest Whitaker's wonky eye. Although he seems to credit the fantastic work of his optometrist on the Desert Moon Jetta, Dr. Mort Rosenblatt. Good job, Doc. Full disclosure, I grew up a huge Star Wars fan, so it's always fun to go back to that universe, except episode one, that sucked balls. But let's be honest, they could make a movie about Darth Vader taking a dump, and I'm probably going to watch it. Never underestimate the power of the brown side. This was a good movie. It was more catered towards adults than kids, and you're still thinking about Vader shitting, aren't you?